hello to all my friends out there and this video is chicken salad and collectibles okay um as you can see i'm wearing the same designer shirt and i am not quite done with the previous video so i decided to do another one like groundhog day but it can never be the same because you know you already did it once Okay, so I, I will start out with collectibles. And so mainly uh, jewelry and collectibles. I sell mainly um, costume jewelry. And the reason I do that is because I don't want to be robbed for one thing. And it's very easy to sell for another thing. And if you're thinking about doing it yourself, I suggest you hand pick the stuff. You know, I tried um, buying in bulk, and I and I unfortunately bought a lot of crap. And I said to the lady, "What the hell? You know, if I pay forty-five dollars for anything in the store, I should, you know, my expectation would be I would get at least forty-five. And they go, "No, that's not the way it works." And I thought, "Okay, okay, no more buying in bulk." And since then, I have hand-picked all of my stuff. Okay, part of the reason for doing this video is, these videos, is because I want to photograph my stuff because, you know, I can see a big evolution even from a year ago, even from the beginning of the year. Okay, so I have some adorable rings. But what I sold this week, and I was trying to sell it for quite a while, is this Armiton Diamond Now watch and this is so cute and it, it's got a I don't know if you can see it a sapphire crown hate to see it go and uh, I took a bid you know I take bids uh, um, I sell to people I want to have my stuff <laughs> okay so I want to show you some of the stuff I sell Okay, what I look for all the time, and they are not easy to find. This is a Calvin Klein belt, women's. This is, what is this one? I forget. Oh, my favorite brand, Ralph Lauren. <laughs> These belts are beautiful. I'm always looking for belts. Okay, now collectibles. Okay, I don't sell these, really. I collect these, and look. Each one has a personality of its own, but um, I, if I ever did sell them, uh, I don't want people, unless the next person is actually going to own it, I don't really want them touching it. You know, you're, it's not the same uh, with uh, jewelry and collectibles. And you go, well, you, you're making a big deal out of these collars. But true, but I love them. They're they're beautiful. Uh oh, I lost an earring. My hair has been very snarly today. It doesn't want to be nice. It can happen. So these are nothing but beautiful. Um, I can't really imagine needing the money bad enough to sell them. But if I did, I would sell them. Okay, and the other thing I sell is collectible books, and this is a collectible, uh, and it is signed by the author, Alexander Smith. And, and not only that, this this is good literature, uh, Dream Thorpe. Uh, maybe some of you haven't had the luxury. This is how it starts. It matters not to relate how or when I became a dozen of Dreamthorpe. It will be sufficient to say that I am not a born native, but I came to reside in, in it a good while ago. The several towns and villages in which in, in my time I have pinched, pitched a tent did not please for one for one obscure reason or another. This one was too large, the other one too small, but when on a summer evening about the hour of eight, I first beheld Dreamthorpe, 
with its west wind looking windows painted by a sunset, its children playing in the single straggling street, mothers knitting at the open doors, the father standing about in long white blouses chatting or smoking, the great tower of the ruined, ruined castle rising into the rosy air with a whole troop of swallows by the distance made as small as gnats skimming about its rents and fissures. When I first beheld all this, I felt instinctively that my knapsack might be taken off my shoulders. So, you know, there is no money. <laughs> but if I was broke, I would sell it. Definitely. If I was broke, I would do whatever I had to do. Okay, now back to the salad. This is this is um, Groundhog Day. You know, I have suffered, I have um, experienced a lot of that deja vu in my life. Um, my son is always saying, Mom, how do you find it? I go, I don't know, it finds me. Okay, what I have here is a chicken salad and I roasted some chicken in the oven to scroll down. I mix mayonnaise, mustard, pickles, and pickle juice and I stirred it good. Then I, I fry bacon and I chopped that. I put bacon on the bottom of a bowl and I pressed the chicken salad on top and, and then I turned it out on my plate. And then I just, you know, use whatever um, greens I had and I bought those for 99 cents. But if you don't have chicken or it's too hot to cook, this is why in the stockpile, if you keep this, a lot of times you've seen me, I make um, potato salad with bacon bits. Or um, I wanted to mention another good salad is um, egg salad. Okay, and I buy any salad dressing. Um, one of the things I want to start selling is whoo this looks good i am so hungry oh my gosh I'm starving okay and then at one of the 99 cents i'm living it up you guys i have real peach tea i put it in the freezer to get it extra coldness probably gonna make a big mess when i go to to wow you have to be hercules to get it open well at least we know it's fresh Yummy. Oh, I was afraid that was gonna happen when it's half frozen, but it's going to taste very delicious half frozen. So you have to suffer a little. All right, look at this. And it's hot here in California. Um, this is funny. How to look better instantaneously. Did you guys see those videos that day I did in my uh, car home? <laughs> it's hot here. This is really good tea if you can get get some. And then I bought crackers. One of the best ways to make sure you never uh, run out of bread is to always keep crackers. I bought hummus for one dollar. And so um, I want to mention something. Okay, you know I learned a lot when I was doing the tea party thing. Okay, you don't overload your little um, two-tier plates because your servant can always put more crackers on. All right, let me give you another shot. And you know, if you want to start jewelry, I suggest uh, costume. This stuff is very pretty. It really is. Uh, I sell this for maybe $5.99, $5.00, $6.00. Okay, you guys, egg salad, tuna salad, chicken salad, any kind of meat, um, ham, any, you know, any kind of sliced meat could go in the middle, too. Okay, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. I can't believe it. I would have been so mad if I forgot these. Okay, whose sunglasses do I love so much that I want to wear them in the house all the time 
even though I almost kill myself, Oscar de Laurenta. And let me give you one more shot of my beautiful watch. Look at my beautiful, beautiful Calvin Klein blouse. You know, really, even if you pay full price for good purses and good sunglasses, it's worth every single penny. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.